My dad was from Flushing, New York, and he was career military. He bled red, white, and blue. He loved wine, women, and song, a great story, and a big old belly laugh. In 1950, he met the love of his life. May I have this dance? This pretty little red-headed, porcelain-skinned cotton picker from Carnegie, Oklahoma, looked into the face of this black-haired, tan-skinned young man in uniform. Why, I'd be delighted, sir. They were just 18 years young. They were having so much fun, and before you could snap your fingers, they were married. <laughs> and then countless assignments, both abroad and stateside, just became their way of life. It eventually became my way of life because they started birthing military brats. Now, you all may know that brats is an acronym for British Regiment attached traveler. So the British used to stamp the passports of military families that traveled abroad with a soldier. It caught on around the world, even in these United States, and we are still known, or we still talk about military children as brats. Now, I wear that title like a badge of honor. Being raised in a home where pride in my country and respect for those who serve and sacrifice was such a blessing. But my folks continued their dance through life, both figuratively and literally. Many times I could hear my dad whisper to my mom, you were my first dance and you'll be my last. <laughs> Until her dying day, although she was ravaged with Alzheimer's, she still tried to piece together the story that she told so many times, and it was hilarious. But it used to end with, I could out cotton pick my husband on any cotton patch. But on that dance floor, he was nobody's match. <laughs> As my dad's health began to deteriorate, I I swear his whole being and duty to his country was still rock solid. When I was helping him to speak to the cable provider to discontinue his service, I'm answering all the questions about um, personal questions that will grant me access to his account. Ma'am, please name childhood superhero. Dad, evidently there's a secret question attached to your account. Who was your childhood superhero? My dad sits up proudly in his hospital bed and in a deep and dignified voice and a salute, General Douglas MacArthur. Dad, seriously, I think they mean like Superman, Lone Ranger, maybe Tonto, seriously. Indeed, the final answer that granted me access to his account was the 1903 West Point graduate, the 1919 superintendent of West Point, and the United States Army's five-star general, Douglas MacArthur. <laughs> My dad died at the age of 81. Having had the time of his life serving his country with my mom, his military wife, who from the rear led with every ounce of dignity and honor that he had as a military man. Together, they are interred in the Dallas-Fort Worth National Cemetery, where the flag that draped my dad's casket was donated to fly over the grounds during special events and national holidays. It is my privilege and honor to not only speak before you today, but to walk these sacred grounds here at West Point and to see row after row of monuments 
that remind me that freedom is not free. Thank you, and God bless you, and God bless these United States of America.